Hi everyone, Sarah, the owner and creator of High Multifarious Nature. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are a new viewer, welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, a big welcome back. I'm so glad you guys are here. I uh, <laughs> am wearing a shawl today in the house because it's actually quite warm outside. It's in the 80s, but we have our AC on and I'm cold, so <laughs> I have my shawl on. Um, this is the Deandra shawl. I, I don't believe the pattern is available anymore in Ravelry, which is super unfortunate. It was a freeform shawl, which was awesome. And then I used my Multarious Nature yarn. And this is in the white pine colorway. And then Ocean's Deep, which is that gorgeous deep blue that I make that I layer multiple colors to create. So these are uh, colors that I've dyed up and yeah. So it's keeping me warm right now, so I don't really want to take it off because I'm cold. Anyway, yes, hilarious. <laughs> More shop update. So uh, I do have some advents available in the shop still. Uh, there are just a few left. So if you are interested in purchasing one, um, I will be shipping them out. Uh, basically, November 1st is the goal. That way, no matter what, you will have it in time for December 1st. As a reminder, if you're not familiar with uh, yarn advent calendars, this one is 24 um, 20 gram mini skeins that are 100% Peruvian Highland wool. I only have one base that these are dyed on. And then there's a full size um, 100 gram Peruvian Highland wool skein for the 25th day, so for Christmas Day. So it's um, super fun for the holiday season. I did one um, from a chick that knits. I did her advent calendar last year, which was a lot of fun. So uh, I decided to dye up one the first ever for Multifarious Nature, and it's very exciting. <laughs> There's a mix of all kinds of colors. I don't really want to give away too much. There is a photo, inspiration photo, on multifariousnature.com if you want to see what kind of the inspiration photo was for these colors that I dyed up. Um, I just, I love how they turned out. They're so much fun. I experimented. Um, I will let you know. This is, I guess, a little bit of a spoiler, but I don't really want to give up way too much. Uh, there's just a variety of colors. I will say that. It is not a direct fade. If you want to fade, then um, this is not going to be the calendar for you, but if you're open to some fun, you will love it. Um, there's also some speckling in there, so there's just, I, I really had a lot of fun, and there's a variety of different kinds of colors variegated, semi-solid, and some speckling. So it's really exciting and I love how it turned out. I cannot wait to actually knit with it myself. So uh, I'm really looking forward to that. So if you do purchase one, you will get to open it with me and um, I'm really excited about that. <laughs> so, all right guys. Um, so uh, there will be mystery goodies in that as well. I always forget to say that, but yeah, there's gonna be mystery goodies in there throughout the calendar as well. And works in progress. I did not do a lot of knitting this week. I wasn't really feeling very well and yeah, I just, I really did not get much knitting done. At least not on a variety of projects. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to go through the projects that I have worked on, which are just a few. And uh, yeah. Let's start with this one, shall we? <laughs> this is the the one that I can never say. Majorin, Majorin, Majorin. Ah, it is a free pattern. I'm pretty positive that's a free pattern on Ravelry. And I'll of course include a link below to the pattern. I'm pretty sure this is progress I did this week. I, <laughs> I think so. Or it's last week and I only did like a row or two. I, I can't really remember. Like I said, it's been a bit of a week. So this is on my Multifarious Nature base, uh, Brunhilde's hair. It's a beautiful violet like purple color. It's got like the blue, a little bit of like a blue violet color in there. And it's, it's just this gorgeous, like royal violet. If you want to look at it that way, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. There's definitely some nice uh, tonality to it. And it's just one of my favorites. I love purple. I'm a huge purple fanatic. So this is definitely one of my favorite colors and it definitely was the favorite color of the person I am custom making this for. So 
this is a uh, custom piece that I am doing. So, yeah, very, very excited about that. And it's quite beautiful. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so tired. <laughs> oh, goodness. Bear with me. But I love the pattern this is creating, and with the nice uh, tonality of the yarn, it's just so beautiful. And that is in my project bag from May Contain Egg, which is such a fun project bag. It's got a little bit of that like gold coloring on there. So fun. So yeah, loving it. Lock and Lou Progress Keeper. So I think, I think this is progress from this past week. I'm pretty sure. Slowly but surely getting through it. Uh, this past week was just rough. I'm hopeful next week should be better though. I'm just not just not feeling my best. So <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. Anyway, um, so I have another project here. I This is a very personal project. So I just kind of want to preface that. Um, so I, have, I don't know if you've heard of this. Um, I heard someone talk about it recently and it really hit home. So um, on an extremely personal note, my husband and I, um, we have struggled um, with trying to have children. That is something that is really important to us that we would love to have. And um, well, we actually uh, did lose a baby this past March. That's uh, something I, I know I didn't share with you guys. Uh, I wasn't feeling well uh, during that time as you can imagine, and then prior, I definitely wasn't feeling very well, and that's why. Um, so I just don't really want to delve into that. You know, I, I know that will be a, a trigger for a lot of people, and I definitely don't want anyone to uh, feel pain when watching any of my videos, that's for sure. So um, I just wanted to share that because uh, I am working on a project that is a hopeful, prayerful project. Uh, I know someone um, online had shared this and I, I thought what a wonderful idea that uh, would be helpful for myself. So what she's doing, which I am doing, is creating a baby blanket. And it is, if you want to call it a prayer blanket, a, um, a hope blanket, uh, the hope is that, um, you know, in the future, uh, we will have a little one that will be able to use it. That is what it's for. And I am not using a pattern. I am just doing my own thing. So I have, um, <laughs> I did a little border here. It's like a garter stitch border. This is just yarn that I have come across um, with those um, estate sales that I got my hands on. It is a yarn bee yarn. Um, it's like a carrying yarn is what it is. Oh boy, that's gonna get blasted out. It's really pretty. It's like a, like a light baby blue, yellow, and a little bit of a light pink in there. And you hold that with a yarn. And so I'm holding it with a yarn B Soft and Sleek DK. I figured this will be nice and durable to throw in the wash. So I'm holding it with that. And by marling it together, this is what is coming to be. So it has a really nice little halo to it. Um, I'm doing a couple rows in knitting stitch and then I'm doing a row of garter because I'm knitting the wrong side row after I do I think it's like 10 rows so I do like 10 rows and then I knit and so it creates this little ridge so it's going to be kind of like the subtle striping going on and um, I also did like a garter <laughs> sorry you can hear my dog probably in the background <laughs> Rory is just barking for no apparent reason um, but yeah, I've created a little garter row there and garter rows down the sides so it'll frame it, um, give it some nice framework and yeah, so that's something I am working on very prayerfully and, um, yeah, it's my little, my little hope blanket. So, um, if you've never heard of that and this is your first time hearing of it, um, then I'm, I'm glad. I, I hope that this might be something that you can put and into your life um, that might be something that would bring you hope and um, something positive that you can focus on that um, and prayerfully focus on so yeah 
this is just something that I'm doing and someone else uh, for sure someone else actually was doing this and not this pattern but she was doing the same idea and I um, yeah I'm really really excited about working on this and it, I always feel really good when I'm working on it so I've been doing that quite a bit lately so I hope I didn't like bring anybody down that is not my intention I just wanted um, to be very open with you guys and that's that's a project I actually have been working on for just a couple weeks now and I, I just really wanted to share that with you so um, hopefully someone found that hopeful and now to something super exciting and fun that myself and a bunch of other people have been waiting and I talked about it in the last video and I'm so excited is Stephen West's shawl, mystery shawl knit along. It started October 8th and um, yeah, there's like, I'm so excited and I don't want to ruin anything for anyone. So if you are thinking about doing the mystery shawl knit along, the shawlography, if you're thinking about doing it and you're not sure yet, or you just haven't started it yet because you haven't had time to because I mean it was just released this Friday and I went nuts working on that that's what I focused on a lot this weekend so I'm gonna put out a spoiler here so if you do not want to see it look away <laughs> all right you've been warned <laughs> so this is the shawlography so far I have just begun. I'm not done with the first clue yet. The first clue, was, like I said, was released Friday. And here we go. I'm going to show it. <laughs> so I, I've warned you enough. So this is what I have so far. So you start down here. And now we are moving over here from the bottom up. And this is what it looks like so far. Kind of reminds me of a wing of a butterfly. It's really beautiful. So these are all multivarious nature colorways, except for the white color. That was something from Stash. But the rest is all multivarious nature colorways. This is a one of the kind uh, peachy color, which is very similar to Teddy, the base under Teddy. And then this wonderful brown that is variegated, or tonal, not variegated, tonal. Tonal brown color is um, uh, spiced, <laughs> spiced hot cocoa. And then this wonderful vibrant yellow that has little hints of peach and orange in there. And it's also right here on this spot here. That is um, squash. And then we have mossy, which is this really fun green in here. That was this wonderful mossy color. It's a deep green. And that is what I have so far for the shallography. So um, this is it so far. So if you actually are intrigued by this and you do want to join us, uh, the everyone creating the shallography, um, you can still, of course, purchase the pattern and start. I'm pretty sure that you can just join at any time um, and he'll just send you the clues and everything. So there's a clue every Friday of October and the clues are long like the first clue is I mean it's a lot of knitting so I'm not even halfway maybe I'm about at a halfway point kind of I don't think I'm at the halfway point but my guess if I had to guess that what's gonna happen is there's gonna be wedges going all the way around this part right here so that's what my guess is, but I could be wrong. But from what I looked at the pattern, that's kind of what I'm gathering. So I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun, and I'm excited to see like what the next section brings. So working on that. Um, these colorways are currently in the shop. If you are interested, so spice hot cocoa, mossy squash and uh this one is not but teddy is in the shop so teddy is very similar to this but it has brown like brown caramel looking speckles um uh tonality on it so yeah really really excited and i'm using my 50 inch <laughs> cord up for this 
just so I have plenty of room because if I've learned anything from everyone that has talked about Stephen West shawls, they're going to be big. And yeah, I would need a long cord to hold all those stitches. <laughs> so I've got that in just this fun little bag that I got from my aunt and uncle forever ago. And I just so love it. So that's my project bag for the shawlography. I feel like it's appropriate. It's wonderfully colorful. And I think that just really sums up Stephen West's projects. <laughs> that's for sure. So let's see what else is going on. So to note, uh, ending October 15th will be um, the Operation Warm Up Flint where I'm collecting um, hats, mittens, gloves, anything that's uh, handmade and not used. So um, brand new um, handmade hats, mittens, gloves, scarves, anything like that for Operation Warm Up Flint, and then I will ship them all out um, like the following week or so. When I have all of them received, I will be shipping those out to, um, yeah, Operation Warm Up Flint, which is awesome. A great way to help support Lisa, semi-local to me. Um, I'm in Michigan, opposite side of the state, but um, I still would love to support other fellow Michigan folks. And um, yeah, if anyone wants to help participate in that, please do send something my way. I do have a PO box listed below and all the information about Operation Warm Up Flint if you do want to participate. And um, I do have a giveaway for those that do participate. So keep that in mind. And um, anything else? Man, I am just so out of it today. Anyway, I think that's pretty much it. Personal note, like I said, yeah, not just not feeling very good. Um, we did a lot of cleaning around the house today. I know that's super exciting. <laughs> it's kind of like our weekend thing. We usually clean and uh, Sundays uh, at the moment do online church because um, still just not going out and about as much. Um, and... Yeah, try to relax a little bit more on Sundays. I do tend to go get groceries still on Sunday, which I do need to go do today. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I used to quite enjoy going grocery shopping, and I think ever since, you know, the pandemic, I'm just not really enjoying it as much. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, I always appreciate when my husband comes with me because it makes the process a lot quicker and less painful in that sense. <laughs> I'm trying to think what else. So, oh, we have a wedding we're going to. That's really exciting. So that's coming up uh, this coming weekend. It's next week, so I probably won't be doing a video next weekend because we're gonna be driving <laughs> on Sunday. But um, yeah, we're going to um, Dan's cousin, uh, her wedding, which is really exciting and that will be um, next Saturday, so we'll be gone for the weekend, so I won't be doing a video next weekend, so it'll be like a two week, and then, then I'll do another video. And yeah, I'm trying to think of what else, you guys. Gosh, I'm just, I don't know. So I, will, I, I probably won't get the next mystery clue, I just realized that. I probably won't get the next clue for the shawlography because that's released on Fridays and then we will be traveling Friday. Oh man. <laughs> oh well, I know I, I'll do my best uh, to try to keep up with the shawl. I'm hopeful. I'm very hopeful. I mean, I feel like since I'm about at the halfway point of the first clue, if I can get the rest done this week at least, then I will be ready for the following clue to start probably Sunday when we get back maybe Monday, depending on the energy level I have. <laughs> I know this is going to be a shorter video than my normal. Um, yeah, I just hope you guys are doing good. How are you doing? <laughs> How are you guys doing? I, I'd love to hear, hear from you uh, if you want to comment below. I hope you guys are, are doing well. I mean, hope you're, hope you're happy and healthy and, and I hope you're creating, that's for sure. And, uh, Please always feel free to share below what you've been up to, what you're working on. I, I really love hearing about what others work on. It's one of my favorite things. I love to follow um, 
other knitters, crocheters, crafters on Instagram. I love watching and seeing what other people are up to. All the new colorways coming out and from other individuals as well and just seeing what's going on in, in the fiber world. Um, Brian Beck, that's a big thing. I've never gone and I I don't really see myself going in the near future but because that's uh, in New York. So I, I don't really see myself going there in the near future. I would love to go. I think that would be fun. I loved the Michigan Fiber Festival. That was a riot and yeah that was huge and so much fun. So I'd love to go to Ryan Beck. That's a big thing. But I didn't. I, I've been watching a bunch of videos, people just getting excited about it. So I'm looking forward to seeing videos from like individuals that had, did get to go. I believe Andrea Mowry is going and she had a Rhinebeck sweater and she's going to do a meetup with individuals who also made her Rhinebeck sweater for themselves. And they're all going to meet up together at the uh, Rhinebeck event. So That'll be fun. I'm sure she said she's gonna, I think, do a little video or something for that. So I'd love to see that. I just, I so enjoy watching videos about the uh, festivals. So yeah, if you've gone to any festivals, please share below. I'd love to, I'd love to hear about which ones you've gone to. Uh, if you really enjoyed it, let me know. Maybe I'll add it to my list of places to go <laughs> and check out. Keep exploring this fiber world. It's amazing. Yeah. Hope you guys. Uh, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. And actually, uh, your next two weeks. I hope you have a great two weeks. I look forward to catching up with you then. Have a great rest of your week, guys. Take care. Bye.